Hello and welcome and uh, sustainability 100 plus dialogues 2021. This is an initiative between Network 18 and Web, and the idea is to try and bring in some of the sharpest minds in this shared pursuit to build a cleaner, brighter planet that is livable for the next 100 plus years and beyond. And it gives me great pleasure to say hello to the Union Minister for uh, Transport and Highways and MSMEs, Nitin Gadkariji, and also Karthike Sharma, President of South Asia, AB in Bev. Namaste. And uh, without any further delay, my first question to you, Nitinji, is something which I'm very, very excited about, which I want you to share with all of us, all of those who are watching this uh, telecast and this broadcast, is uh, something that you're going to launch very, very soon. It's non-toxic wall paint. It's very special. Sustainability ki hum baat kar rahe hai, bahut khas baat hai. Isi main se start karna chahta hu. Because you are one of the champions for sustainability. So let's start with that. Thoda batai. Actually, the problem in uh, our country which we are facing that uh, our 8 to 10 percent GDP is coming from agriculture, 22 to 24 percent from manufacturing sector, and 52 to 56 percent from the service sector. The problem is that at a time of 47, 1947, before independence, the 85 percent of the population belongs to rural India. And after that, today, the 30% of the population is migrated from rural India to urban India. Mm. And urban India, agriculture, rural, tribal, but with the forest area, where 115 aspirant districts are there, where our, uh, 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 our contribution for GDP is very negligible. There is a poverty, unemployment, and exactly the mission of the government is to eradication of poverty. For that reason, we need to take technology using different type of technology in the rural agriculture and tribal India to create more employment potential by which we can eradicate the poverty. This uh, we are now making a lot of things on Khadi and Gramodyog and handloom handicrafts. One of the thing is we are making that cow dung by using cow dung, we are making paint. This wall, I can show you this wall show this one wow this is uh, the paint which is used by cow dung and wow. this is this is from the chemical paint this is the chemical paint it is as long as same and of good quality and it is equivalent to the standard paint of the different company available in india but our rate is 225 rupees per kg and uh, other paint which are reputed in market of the same quality, their rate is 550 rupees per kg. Wow. So the idea is to create more employment potential in the rural area. The second important thing which is our mission that innovation, entrepreneurship, science, technology, research, skill and successful practices. We name it as a knowledge and conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future. So the knowledge and technology, we need to take it to the rural area. So I am my favorite subject is diversification of agriculture towards energy and power sector. We are now making ethanol, methanol, bio CNG, electric, hydrogen fuel cell. We have the import of 7 lakh crore of crude oil. And our idea is to make the biofuel green power and a green fuel. We want to make the economy of 2 lakh crore. Now presently size of ethanol economy is 20,000 crore by which we are going to create employment potential in the rural and agriculture India. So there is a gap between urban India and rural India, India and Bharat. Yes. And Bharat, where is the main is agriculture. So agricultural processing industries, then uh, forest based industries, handloom, handicrafts, different type of new vision where we are pri trying to give on priority for that and making sustainability there to create good type of uh, affordable and clean energy. Mm. Climate uh, at the same time, green climate is very important because air pollution and water pollution is a big concern and mm. the economy. On the basis of that, sustainable industry, innovation and good infrastructure in rural agriculture, tribal and 115 aspirant districts. The present turnover of village industry is 80,000 crore. And my mission is within two years, I want to make it 5 lakh crores. Wow. Our Khadi denim, our Khadi denim is use your USA, your company Levi's. Yes. They are using our Khadi denim. 
So yes. now we are making of different technology, different projects in the rural agriculture India by which honey, bamboo, fishing, biofuels, furnitures, forest-based different products, handloom, handicrafts, sericulture, solar charkha, by which we want to make it to be sustainable growth in rural India to create more employment potential and giving a sustainable living standard to them is the mission for us. And that is exactly the concept of Atmanirvar Bharat. The project is, the, the yeah. subject is very big, but yeah. I will give the answer of your questions. No, no, you've, you've, you've hit the nail bang on and I want to go back to that paint and just tell our viewers why it is so special, not just creating employment in the rural sector, not just using something as basic as cow dung, which is there available in plenty across the country, but it's non-toxic uh, and it also adds to our uh, climate goals and the fact is it's, it's less than half the price. 100%. Even from cow urine, we can make phenyl. We have a lot of research project with us and I will request you somewhere the people like you, go, you can go into the details. Now we have shoes. Have you got the sample of the shoes, Chappal? We have got the shoes where you're using Khadi denim on the lady's shoes. Then uh, there will be Banaras silk is there on the shoes. And there's a different type of models are there which are very good. So by using technology, particularly the handloom and handicrafts, we are giving most priority for that and by which to create more employment potential in the rural India. That is exactly to get mm. sustainability there is the most important priority for the government. True. But let me ask you this. As MSME ministers, before I come to you know, roads and transport, uh, as MSMEs, one of the challenges is also to keep the MSMEs uh, ecologically fair. And to push this growth story while being uh, conscious of our uh, SDG, because India within the SDG index right now has a lot of catching up to do. We're somewhere around 117. And in the next decade or so, we want to make uh, great strides and break into the top 10. You are actually in the rural and agriculture India, the technology which we are going to develop, that is to be import, substitute, cost effective, pollution free and indigenous. Our IIT, our engineering colleges, our research institutions are doing a lot of things. And mm -hmm. I'm confident that by which with 100% the sustainability is the goal. But at the same time, ecology, environment, climate change, is, this is the highest priority for all of us that how we can maintain that. Now, a mm -hmm. lot of innovative technology and instruments we are using. For example, uh, from that biomass, we are making yeah. pallets. And that pallet are now the use for making of cooking. Mm -hmm. So there is no flame, no pollution. Now wow. we are also working on bio CNG. That is, you know that the problem in uh, Delhi, we are mm -hmm. facing problem because of uh, burning of parali, rice straw. Yeah. So from 5 ton of rice straw, we can make 1 ton of bio CNG. Wow. By that we can get methane and bifurcate methane from CO2, we can get bio CNG. We are now saving sewage water of the urban city to for using power generation and other thing. Even in Moon City, in my constituency in Nagpur, we are mm -hmm. selling toilet water, sewage water of Nagpur, making recycling of it and selling it to government of Maharashtra, getting 325 crore royalty per year. From that wow. water, now we are trying to get methane and bifurcate methane from CO to get bio CNG. And our idea is to run all transport buses of Nagpur on bio CNG. We have converted 100 buses which are on diesel on bio CNG. This type of many new technology, you know, I have got my tra own tractor. I uh, <laughs> successfully the 15 year old tractor, my own tractor converted into bio CNG. And it is an import substitute, cost-effective, pollution-free and indigenous. But it is going to save 1 lakh rupees per year for a farmer. So as a wow. transport minister, I am going for that. So these wow. many innovations we are doing. Well, I, I think we can have a long, long, never-ending session in terms of all the stuff that you're doing, uh, Nitinji, because I know you're very passionate about it. But even with roads, I must say, I just recently drove down from Bangalore to Hampi and we made that journey in less than five and a half hours. And I know in the past, about a decade and a half, more than that, uh, I've driven to Hampi, which took me about seven and a half to eight hours. So there is a lot that you're doing in terms of increasing connectivity. But this connectivity will also come 
uh, where when you are trying to, uh, if you have more vehicles on the roads, if you have more roads, then you'll have to also be careful about the roads, uh, about the vehicles which are on the roads, electric vehicles. So the power to entire to 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 pack those electric vehicles, all of those, is, all of that is also challenged. But the roads, the cobbling up, the you know the the tarring of the roads also present a huge opportunity in terms of how we can be sustainable, how we can make it uh, eco friendly. Actually, you can visit anywhere in any part of India. Either it is northeast, or the Uttarakhand, Himachal mm. Pradesh, Kashmir, everywhere. We are making a lot of good infrastructure. At mm. the time when I taken charge as the minister, it was come to 2 to 3 kilometers per day. And average was 11 to 12 kilometers per day, per year. Average was there at the time of UPA government. But now presently our average is 30 kilometers per day. And probably this year we may be complete the uh, 40 kilometer per day. So we are now making 22 green express highway between Mumbai to wow. Delhi. Our road is go, uh, already 40% of the construction is completed. Land acquisition is completely been a year and one year and one and a half year. We will complete this project where it will be easy for you to go from Mumbai to Delhi by 13 hours. Wow. So we are now next month, we are going to inaugurate Merit Delhi Express Highway, where uh, it takes four hours from Merit to Delhi. But within after inauguration of this road, it will be only 45 minutes from Merit to Delhi. We are making the highway to Delhi Amrutsar Katra. And Delhi Amrutsar will be only six hours from Delhi to Amrutsar. We are making Chennai to Bangalore. So no, I don't have any resources problem. Mm. My balance sheet in NHI is very strong. For this year, we have already awarded works more than 3 lakh crore. In last five years, uh, we are in my department at that time, we have given order for 17 lakh crores of infrastructure, 17 lakh wow. crores. And 100% I am confident that we have a lot of good model, BPA, TOT model, mm. POT model, hybrid NOT model. And different type of models, we don't have any problem with the resources. And we that you just wait for a year or a, one and a half year, total scenario of road sector in India will be changed. And it wow. will be equal to what you are in USA, you are seeing. <laughs> Two years, we will be of that standard. And that type of infrastructure is going to happen in the country. But the most important thing is, uh, it is not good for the country, that railway traffic is decreased and road traffic is increased. <laughs> Actually, yeah. our first priority is to waterways. I always uh, already successfully completed waterways of Ganga. That is yeah. from Varanasi to Haldia. Then Haldia, the Bengal Sea is there. Then Brahmaputra dressing is completed. Then uh, we have also completed from Prayagraj, Allahabad, to Varanasi, one, one yeah. meter drop is there. And uh, one of the report of uh, DPR has submitted to World Bank from starting from Yamuna, from Delhi. Yeah. Delhi to Mathura, Mathura to Agra, Agra to Itawa, and Itawa yeah. to Allahabad. So from Delhi, you can go up not only up to Northeast, but you can go up to China, Indonesia, Malaysia, Southeast Asia. So this wow. is the dream. Already a lot of things are to be completed. Then 100 mm -hmm. of airports already we have completed. Then MPBS seaplane already started in the country. So the, in the infrastructure and the, on the, as far as the fuel is concerned, our uh, fuel pursue petrol, diesel and crude oil, the import cost which we are bearing for that is 7 lakh crore. Our idea yeah. is to create Indian alternative for that. Our automobile industry size is 4 lakh 50 thousand crore out yes. of which 1 lakh 45 thousand crore is export. And by we are now launching our uh, policy for uh, scrapping policy by which within five years India is going to become a number one manufacturing hub for electric car, electric buses, all automobile mm -hmm. in the world. Presently, mm -hmm. all automobile industries brands are present in India. India has got the skilled manpower. At the same time, uh, the production cost is very less. And I am confident that within five years, we will become a number one manufacturing hub in the world for automobile. And I am the minister in charge for that. A lot of True. changes are moving. Now we have electric car, electric bikes, electric auto rickshaw, electric buses everywhere. Now this is not the dream. But if you can go to Mumbai and Pune and anywhere you can see that now it is to be started in India. 
True, true. I agree with you. And but but along with that, you're also doing uh, a lot of uh, eco-friendly measures. You said green highways because I read somewhere that you're trying to use jute in trying to keep the roads uh, uh, for for making for making roads. The, this non-toxic paint that you've talked about, and I'm sure it it will be used to try and paint all the highways and all the road signs, all the pavements and the paths. Of course, generating employment and also opportunity. But let me ask you, uh, Nitinji, since I have uh, Karthike also with me, what is your expectation from the private sector? And then I'll bring in Karthike in terms of how it can work together. How can we work together? Actually, uh, I'm telling one of actually for the foreign in, uh, investment. 100% FDI is allowed. There is no problem. The uh, problem is that my total toll income in uh, NHIs for this year is 34,000 crore. We have now fast track. But yeah. now we are going to launch a system that is on basis of GPS. There will be no toll for the people to go there and stop there. But uh, our income within five years, as far as the report given to me, is come to 1,34,000 crore. I can monetize the road. I am going to monetize a lot of roads. My income, prob no problem. Internal rate of return is good. Economic viability is good. People are getting good return. Even the company like uh, Pension Fund from Canada, even company from the Australia, Macquarie and other people, they are already purchased a lot of road in TOT models. My yeah. problem is the most interesting thing is the investment in India is economically viable as far as the other uh, world, uh, other countries are concerned. But the problem is that we, as a government, as a ministry, I cannot take anything in dollar. I need everything in rupees because you know the system, the system in the finance ministry, reserve bank approvals. So my suggestion is any insurance fund, pension fund, adding the hedging cost. And interest cut, if they are ready to participate in for NHI, it is a gold mine. Whole economic viability is there. Even I can make extra account. If you want your returns daily, I am give I will give you daily. If you want weekly, we are ready to give you weekly. If you want monthly, we can give you monthly. We don't have problem. We have already our toll collection is 34,000 crore per year. Mm. So there is no problem of economic viability, but the problem right. is related with the system. If suppose uh, Honorable, my friend is giving me some good suggestions, there is no problem. There is a red carpet for the investors and we will make the joy, uh, any type of agreement between NHI and the financial investor. There is no problem for that. True. Karthikeya, come in because I, I've seen the change which has happened, especially under uh, the, over the last four or five years, especially on the roads. And it's state after state, highway after highway, we've seen it, and these fast tag mechanisms, and also in terms of all the economically viable and sustainable aspects. So the sustainability factor is what Mr. Gadkari also said is something which has been kept in mind. Where do you stand? You've been listening to uh, Nitinji, and you're also operating not just in India but also in the entire region. Yeah, no. It's first of all, it's been uh, it's it's an honor to be here on this panel with him. He, I've I've obviously seen his interviews many occasions, and I I agree with you. There's no one more passionate than him when it comes to talking about all things innovation, uh, and that's heartening because I think the future of India and the problems we're facing and the challenges we see are going to be solved by ministers like himself who actually encourage uh, out of box thinking, innovations, and the way you can do things, and of course, doing it all with sustainability at the core. So. To your point on what uh, you know, we can come to expect uh, from the government, I suppose uh, there isn't a better opportunity in India like it is right now for corporations like ourselves to step up and do our bit. I think the government has done theirs. They've created an enabling, very, very uh, empowered environment. Uh, and it's up to organizations like ourselves now to step up and play our role. And so there, whether it's our smart agriculture platform, which we're very proud of how we are empowering uh, a tremendous amount of farmers uh, who are involved in the ecosystem of barley production, uh, whether it's water stewardship, I heard his views again, uh, and, and we ourselves are not just talking about 100% recharging of water used, but doubling the kind of water we put back in. So it's no longer just, mm. I, I pull out 10 liters of water and I've recharged. Well, we want to actually put back 20 liters because water is indeed one of the biggest crises that could face the country going forward. Whether it's climate action, all our facilities running and renewable, or for that matter, uh, a circular economy, particularly when it comes to packaging. So 
I think the long and short of it is this is a tremendous moment where you have government fully invested in wanting to transform the country, do it in a sustainable way so that we learn from the mistakes of yeah. some of the more developed economies and not recreate them here, uh, and do our bit to contribute towards the acceleration of these goals. So for us, timeline of 2030, 2035 is too far out. We're looking mm. at very clear goals right up till 2025. Uh, mm. I, I used this phrase earlier. We, we need to have the obsession of a doomsday clock uh, because with all things climate action, with all things water stewardship, uh, we can't really waste any more time. There has to be a great sense of urgency. And I feel very encouraged mm. by hearing uh, a minister of, of his standing talk in such uh, a positive way about what the future holds. Uh, and True. And, 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 yeah. Like ourselves to look at it. No, absolutely. Nitin ji, एक बात मेरी आपसे पहले बहुत बात हुई थी जब आप नमामि गंगे पर आपने बात की थी interlinking of rivers and you said कि ये हो सकता है अगर सब अपना मन बना ले. How critical it is it for sustainability? If I may ask you that, because I know you have another like you said, water is your passion, water and then uh, rail and then roads. तो मैं बस आपसे ये जानना चाहता हूँ. Actually, this is a very close subject which is touching to my heart, and my NGO has just get a international award. Actually, we have a a slogan: "दौड़ने वाले पानी को चलने के लिए लगाओ, चलने वाले पानी को रुकने के लिए लगाओ, और रुके हुए पानी को जमीन को पीने के लिए लगाओ." गांव का पानी गांव में, खेत का पानी खेत में, घर का पानी घर में, और अभी हम लोग रोड के इसमें जो रिवर्स नदी नाले लगते हैं उसका खोलीकरण और रुंदीकरण करते हैं और आपने अभी महाराष्ट्र में बहुत काम हुआ ये किताब है और मैं अभी इतना बड़ा काम हुआ है कि इसमें करीब लाखों हेक्टर जमीन पानी के नीचे आई है जो वाटर लेवल है जो कुआ कुएं पे पानी आधा घंटा चलता था वो चौबीस घंटे चलने लगा है बुलडाना जिले में जहाँ किसानों ने आत्महत्या की थी ज्यादा से ज्यादा वहां ये प्रोजेक्ट हुआ है पूरा और आप कभी बुलडाना से अजिंठा जाके हो ये बुलडाना पैटर्न करके नीति आयोग ने इसको मान्यता देकर पूरे देश में इसको स्वीकारने के लिए कहा और अभी इस एनजीओ को जिसका मैं संस्थापक हूँ उसको अभी इंटरनेशनल अवार्ड भी मिला है तो पानी में एक पैसा न खर्चा करते हुए एनएचआई के कॉन्ट्रेक्टर हम लोग रोड को खोलीकरण रुंदीकरण करके वही मटेरियल रोड में यूज करते हैं और उससे वाटर स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी बढ़ती है और पानी जमीन के अंदर जाता है कंजर्वेशन होता है और ये सक्सेसफुल एक्सपेरिमेंट किया फिर तलाव की मिट्टी जो थी वो हमने निकाल के उसके ऊपर हमने काम किया ताकि तलाव खोल हो गए तो वाटर स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी बढ़ी अब वे ब्रिज कम बंधारा करके डिजाइन ला रहे हैं आपको याद होगा लातूर में पिछले दो साल पहले महाराष्ट्र में लातूर करके वहां रेलवे के रेलवे से पानी लाया गया था मैं तीन ब्रिज कम बंधारा बना रहा हूँ ब्रिज कम बैरेज तो ये इसमें ऐसा है कि अभी ऐसे 170 मैं महाराष्ट्र में बना रहा हूँ मैं आपको रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि पहले आप आपके किसी पत्रकार को भेजकर पूरे प्रोजेक्ट का स्टडी करके उसका सोशियो इकोनॉमिक इंपैक्ट का स्टडी करके और कॉस्ट कुछ नहीं जीरो फुगट में काम किया ये सब केवल एक नोटिफिकेशन महाराष्ट्र सरकार ने निकाला था तेलंगाना भी ये कर रही है और उस नोटिफिकेशन में जो हमारी ये निकलेगी ये उसका ऑर्डर है ये जो नोटिफिकेशन में यही था कि अगर हम लोग वो निकालेंगे तो मटेरियल फ्री ऑफ चार्ज हम लोग रोल रोड के काम में यूज करेंगे यूज करेंगे केवल ये करने से इतना बड़ा काम हो गया है और ये कर्नाटक आंध्र तमिलनाडु केरला बाद में गुजरात महाराष्ट्र राजस्थान थोड़ा उत्तर प्रदेश का कुछ भाग और यहाँ ये बहुत एक्यूट प्रॉब्लम है और अगर हम बरसात का पानी अगर कंजर्वेशन करने में सक्सेसफुल होंगे तो बहुत अच्छा होगा दूसरी बात रिसाइकलिंग का है अभी आपने मथुरा में इंडियन ऑयल की एक रिफाइनरी है जी। वहां मैं वाटर रिसोर्स मंत्री था तो मैंने एक प्रयोग किया था और वो प्रोजेक्ट अभी पूरा हुआ है कि एटी एम मथुरा का स्लज हमने शुद्ध करके त्रिवेणी इंजीनियरिंग करके कंपनी को प्रोजेक्ट दिया है और वो इंडियन ऑयल में पानी यूज होता है उससे 20 करोड़ की रॉयल्टी मिलती है जैसे कन्वर्शन ऑफ नॉलेज इनटू वेल्थ वैसे वेस्ट टू वेल्थ कोई आदमी वेस्ट नहीं है अप्रोप्रिएट टेक्नोलॉजी अप्रोप्रिएट विजन और अप्रोप्रिएट लीडरशिप कैन चेंज वेस्ट टू वेल्थ तो ये काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है हिंदुस्तान के लिए आवश्यक है इसमें काफी काम देश में अनेक लोग एनजीओ कर रहे हैं राजस्थान में वगैरह बहुत उपयोगी है मैं वाटर रिसोर्सेज मंत्री था 
तो राज्यों में झगड़े के कारण अनेक प्रोजेक्ट अटके हुए थे yes. तो उन्नीस से थे मैंने उसमें से नौ प्रोजेक्ट जो उत्तराखंड हिमाचल पंजाब हरियाणा कश्मीर राजस्थान इसके बीच में थे लगभग दो प्रोजेक्ट को छोड़कर सब झगड़े मिटाए और वो प्रोजेक्ट पर काम शुरू हो गया अब दिल्ली को पानी की कोई आवश्यकता नहीं पड़ेगी क्या बात? आप हरियाणा और पंजाब झगड़ा करते इसके बजाय भारत और पाकिस्तान जब तैयार हुए तो पचास टक्के नदियां भारत को मिली तीन नदियां और तीन पाकिस्तान को मिली तो हमारे नदियों का हिस्से का पानी पाकिस्तान में जा रहा है वो हम राजस्थान हरियाणा और पंजाब को देंगे तो झगड़ा का कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है इतना पानी है तो मैं ये कहूंगा कि वाटर में वाटर एक जैसे पहली बात कही कि दौड़ने वाले पानी को चलने के लिए लगाओ चलने वाले पानी को रुकने के लिए लगाओ रुके हुए पानी को जमीन को पीने के लिए लगाओ इसमें जियोलॉजी है जियोलॉजी जियो फॉर्मोलॉजी मिनरोलॉजी और क्रिस्टोग्राफी ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इसमें एक मोहा स्केल ऑफ हार्नेस है टाल जिप्सम कैल्साइट एपिटाइट आर्थोक्लाइट क्वार्स कोरेंडम डायमंड तो ये जमीन के हार्नेस होते हैं और इसलिए जब तक पानी पीने वाला स्टाटा नहीं लगता तब तक, तक नीचे जाना और जब पानी पीने वाला स्टाटा लगता है तो फिर नीचे जाने की जरूरत नहीं जमीन दस गुना पानी पिएगी वाटर लेवल बढ़ेगी कुएं में पानी आएगा और तालाब में भी पानी स्टोरेज होगा और वहां भी पानी रुकेगा और वो पानी का उपयोग कर सकते बड़े डैम बनाने की आवश्यकता नहीं पड़ेगी अगर नदी नालों का खोलीकरण रुंदीकरण करेंगे तो ब्रिज के नीचे बंधारा बनेगा तो चार चार पांच पांच किलोमीटर पानी रुका रहेगा फिर उस नदी को खोल करेंगे और वो पानी इरिगेशन के लिए पीने के लिए अभी ये मैं जो प्रोजेक्ट किया है बुलडाना का 800 सौ गाँव का पीने के पानी का प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हुआ आप जरूर इसको देखने के लिए दिस इज टचिंग टू माई हार्ट और इस पर जरूर आप अमरीका बाकी बाहरी देशों तक पहुंचाइए इसको जो काम हुआ है देश में नो नो एब्सोल्युटली फैंटास्टिक टेकिंग दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन फॉरवर्ड मेरे पास समय कम है नहीं तो मैं और भी पर किसी दिन नितिन जी आपको मैं समय लेकर मैं इस पर पूरी तरह से और ज्यादा विस्तार में बात करूंगा वी नीड टू नो अबाउट इट माय फाइनल क्वेश्चन टू यू बेस्ड ऑन द गोल्स अहेड व्हाट इज द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज फॉर अस आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क यू नितिन जी एंड देन आई विल ब्रिंग इट टू कार्तिक हियर व्हाट इज द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज फॉर अस एज अ कंट्री टू बी सस्टेनेबल वाइल फॉलोइंग आवर ग्रोथ स्टोरी आपको क्या लगता है सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज क्या है जिसको कि हमें ओवरकम करने की जरूरत है पॉवर्टी इज द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज एंड एज कंपेयर विद अर्बन इंडिया द रूरल इंडिया देर इज ए रियली इट्स ए बिग प्रॉब्लम वी नीड टू क्रिएट मोर एम्प्लॉयमेंट पोटेंशियल वी नीड टू क्रिएट इंडस्ट्री एग्रो बेस फॉरेस्ट बेस हैंडलूम हैंडीक्राफ्ट वेयर वी कैन क्रिएट एम्प्लॉयमेंट पोटेंशियल with employment potential per capita income will be increase and 100% we will resolve the problem of poverty garib garib hota hai garib ko jat pant dharm bhasha nahi hoti aur garib ko rozgar milega aur rozgar dene ke liye hamari jaise wealth creator hai waise hmm. employment creator bhi hai to wo wealth creator aur employment creator ab gaon mein jane chahiye chalo gaon ki aur chalo hmm. jalaye deep wahan jahan abhi bhi andhera hai This is the mission and slogan for all of us. Challenge बहुत बड़ा है बहुत कठिन है और हम आत्मनिर्भर भारत बनाने के लिए उसके पीछे पूरी ताकत से लगे हुए हैं no absolutely fantastic and kartik what what an amazing session with nitin ji isn't it and uh, it also underlines what ab and bev has been talking about about sustainability 100 plus years and what all all that he's talking about is not a 5 year 10 year goal this is for us as a country over the next uh, you know 5 decades uh, if not more Yeah, and that's what makes it so exciting uh, that there's a convergence of visions here. We we want to build a, a a plan, a company to last in a planet that should last, uh, bring people together in a better world, as we call it. That's the purpose of our company. So it meshes our core reason to exist with sustainability at the heart of it. And hearing him talk about India's number one challenge, uh, I would tend to fully agree. Uh, and the answer lies in organizations looking at the entire value chain, looking at everybody involved in that value chain. Yeah. and finding uh, an approach that takes us towards elevating uh, and at the same time creating opportunity for all those people along that value chain uh, who can benefit uh, and come out of this extreme poverty that we're they're faced with in the country so whether that's through indigenization True. that's through any of the other means he's called out uh, it it's certainly something to be quite excited about 
well it's just about thinking up to the long, last mile and one of the philosophies of the of the party he represents and the sangathan that he's part of is antyodaya so right up to the last mile right up to the last uh, delivery last mile delivery is what uh, he's always practiced nitin ji you need to speak more often sir we need to engage with you more often but for the moment mere paas samay kam hai we have to wind up thank you so much for taking the time out aapka aabhar vyakt karta hu kartik a wonderful conversation thank you yeah, thank you thank you appreciate it thank you